Okay. Right. Hi, Glenn. How are you doing? Yeah, fine, thanks. <laughs> right, I'm going to ask you a few questions about nightmare, just to test your knowledge of nightmare, see how much you actually know. Okay. Uh, yeah, fine. So, first question. When did nightmare start and then finish? Nightmare started in 1987, and it finished in 1994. Um, we still have no logical explanation why it finished. And I've heard a lot about the life force. Was there life force in the program, and what were they like? Or what was it? It was illustrated on the screen. The first life force was a armoured face. The armour would come off first. Then the skin was start peeling off, which was sounded, sounds rather disturbing. It sounds lovely. Then there'll be a skull underneath, and when the skull breaks up, the arms will be left, and when they're gone, that's it. Life Force 2 was a walking man in armour. And during, during the process, the armour would drop off behind it. Warning! Stop. Energy levels low. Barry needs sustenance. What's that, that Barry? Um, uh, some sort of shell. Oh, 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 emergency oh. energy levels critical. I think it only has seconds. Right, Barry. No, just keep hold of it. Right, no. sidestep. No, don't put it in your ass. Just keep hold of it. Sidestep to your left. Keep hold of it. Keep hold of it. Sidestep to your left. Right, and again. Walk forward. A spyglass, just one out of the instance, what does a spyglass do exactly? A spyglass, um, it helps the dungeoners and the advisors um, keep an eye on the opposition, what they're doing, what their plan of attack is. You know, it, usually they get handy information from spyglasses, like Lord Fear giving Scar kills Sylvester hands a um, a causeway combination, a blocker password, trial by spikes combination, you know, and so on. And I can't tell you how gratifying it is to view you through a watery environment. It's almost as if, perish the thought, you had decided to take a bath. But no, you're still as deliciously grimy as ever. Oh, thank you, little chicks there. We aim to please you now, I, I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything, Hans. Just shut up and listen if your ears are clean enough for the words to get through. Well, from now on, I've decided to take the war against the powers that be right to their own threshold. No more. Let the little darlings have a nice time in level one and then stick it to them in level two. Oh, no. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. You mentioned just then the opposition. Now, I take it to here, don't get it all their own way, do they? So, the opposition. I take it they're in the dungeon, and did they create any creations, or did they use anything to try and combat the dungeoners? Well, yeah, the dun yeah, like you said, the dungeoners didn't get away with everything they wanted, and the opposition will be there to give them a hard time. And some of the creations they, they there were very few creations I made in uh, the opposition. One of them was in, was introduced in series five, called a blocker. Now this would involve the wall sort of moving out in front of the dungeoner. It will cause a bit of panic and confusion for the dungeoner. <laughs> Very icy, and it would ask for a password. And of course, the dungeoner would have heard that, overheard the password from a, another character or from a spyglass. And if they got the right password, the block would disappear. If they got the wrong one, they got eaten. <laughs> I'm putting another text. Yeah, very paladin. Paladin. Took back in I heard the name of someone, some creature in there. That was the Dreadnought. Dreadnought was the Dreadnought. Dreadnought was introduced in Series Six. He was created by Lord Fear, and you, and you would and you couldn't defeat him physically. You have to like give, you have to give him a password to uh, be let past by the Dreadnought. And if you've got the wrong one, however, he steals a limb off you, or if not, a head. And uh, it wasn't a very nice... So nothing drastic then, just a head here or an arm there, or maybe a leg or two? Yeah, yeah. One, one team suffered because of that, but, you know... So, I guess he did actually kill some dungeoners at some stage, did he? He only killed one, actually. He, um, he, killed, he killed some money in uh, team, team 2 or Series 6. They, um, um, they picked up a fire sign from an early clue room, and they offered it to Henty, who was a very annoying witch. And 
she wouldn't accept it, she wanted a witch hammer. But because the team uh, didn't read the hint that was entered in the screw up, which was Amber Gambler, they didn't get a part of it in return, and eventually the dreadnought just finished them off for them. Ah, that's a fire stone! Oh. Who would like to give up with a fire stone, eh? 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 Witch Amber. It, it looks like yellow beads, but it's not. It's Witch Amber. Hey, hey, you got any Witch Amber? No, I haven't. Oh, well. Hi, it's doing so good to have you see. Was there any else sort of obstacles in there that have been by the teams? Well, the most popular one I've seen so far is um, Causeways. And usually, um, usually uh, there will be like numbers, uh, colours, or you know, yeah. symbols. And they would um, be, uh, they would be, the dungeons would give given hints on which path to take. You know, so, um, say like uh, the path of progression or the path of defence. Usually teams will be sensible enough to take the part of defense, you know, like a helmet and a shield. And, um, and you must have stepped on the wrong tile because you fall in as Team 5 or Series 5 out now. So in your opinion, you just mentioned the causeways. What was the worst obstacle? Is that the worst obstacle or was there anything more diabolical? Well, cause, causeways are made a little harder in Series 6 because it would have issued a Fright Night tile. But the sort of the Fright Night reaches, reaches the red dot, I part of the causeway would fall away. But I guarantee you, the worst uh, obstacle of them all would be the Corridor of Blades. As some teams found out, you can't win easily. You get sliced mm. in two. And one team, which I found was the most amazing team I've seen, they, they almost got killed because they got, they got their directions a little bit mixed up. By the time they actually got them out of the way, the blade was very much over his shoulder. The door. Oh, oh, that's again. Oh, God. Okay, Barry, right, walk forward a bit. Stop, stop. Right, you're in some sort of, um... You're in a large tunnel, standing on an uh, escalator. Uh, stay there, stay there. Okay. Stay there, stay there. Mm. Stay there, stay there. Right, Jack. Right, stay where you are. Yeah, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Right, stand up. Quick, side touch your left. Ooh. Stay there, stay there. So more or less each year it changes. There's new bits and pieces in here. Yeah, saying that, saying that, do some of the rooms transfer from year to year? Are there favourite rooms that stay? Series 1 to 3 were very good examples. Um, there was the um, layer of the dreaded uh, car. Or it was a snake pit in the centre. Sometimes it wouldn't have a pit in the centre. But it was used from series one to series three, and usually the early series there'd be a catacomb light in it. And another one would be the great cause of the catacombs. It had quite a numerous number of designs to it to improve it. And those rooms became quite famous. But the one that remained up, um, from series four all the way to the end, unchanged, was again the corridor of blades. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, stand on an uh, escalator. Yeah. Right. Stay where you are. Stay there, stay there. Okay, my final question. The Brolican. What, who, or where did the Brolican come from? Brolican. He, he was supposed to be extinct. He came, uh, supposedly, from Cornwall. And Lord Fear brought him back through time. And he erased its memory totally, and he gave the Brolican one objective. Find Smirkenor. Kill the dragon. And it, he, it failed miserably. But then during one mid season, Lord Fear gave us another instruction to kill Dungeoneers. But it was. But it asked questions to Dungeoneers quite occasionally. But because it had no memory, it doesn't know very many answers, so you can like sort of, you know, sneak in a wrong question there, and it will probably convince it. 
Thank you, James. That was very interesting. Um, thank you, Tom. You seem to know a lot about nightmares. Yeah. I'm very pleased with this. This is Graham Curtis wishing you all your own private and personal nightmare. <laughs>